people have asked me in my book why I wrote it as an antidote to chaos, you know, because, well, there isn't anything technically wrong with chaos. Chaos is a place of great potential. Well, the question is, what's the proper, what's the proper balance between chaos and order? Chaos, potential, and order. Um, well, the answer is, look, when you're a kid, you're all potential. It's chaotic potential. It can manifest itself in any number of ways. And you, you, maybe you don't want to give that up. So you're like Peter Pan. You want to be a kid forever because you don't want to give up the potential. And you look out in the world and all you see are Captain Hooks, you know, who've lost a hand, who are chased by death because that's the clock in the crocodile. It's already got a t taste of him. He's terrified by death and he's a tyrant. Well, I don't want to grow up to be that. So I won't be disciplined at all. Well, that's no good because the way the potential transforms itself into actuality is through discipline. And so then you, as you said, this is the trick though. You have to pick a path of discipline. Whether what path of discipline you have to pick is a different issue. So there could be a rule. The rule could be, the rule might not be follow this rule. The rule might be, you have to follow some rules. So it's a meta rule. And the meta rule is you have to discipline yourself. And the issue is, well, how? That's not really the relevant question. You can pick a disciplinary path. That's why I often tell my clients, especially young people, they say, well, I don't know what to do. It's like, that's okay. Nobody does. Go do something. Do the best thing that you can think of. Put the best plan you have into practice. It's not going to be perfect, and it will change along the way. But it will change partly because you become disciplined pursuing the path. And as you become disciplined, you become wiser. And as you become wiser, you become able to formulate better and better plans. So you can start vaguely and confused and develop a plan that's not so great and you start to implement it and then you, you, you accrue incremental wisdom as you implement your flawed plan and that enables you to fix the plan. And so that's part of that process of incremental self-improvement as well. One of the more difficult aspects of that is personal honesty, like being honest with yourself, being honest with yourself about what you're doing, self-assessment. It's very difficult for people. They don't, they're never, they're never taught it. It's mm -hmm. not something that's encouraged. No, and it's dismal. I mean, imagine you only got a hundred, you only have a hundred thousand dollars to go buy a house. And so you go by, you go look at this house and it's like, Jesus, this house, man, it's like, it needs a lot of work. It's like, well, that's all you've got. Well, are you going to pretend that the house is okay the way it is? Or are you going to look for where it's rotten and where the plumbing doesn't work and where the stove doesn't work? You have to go and look and see where everything needs to be fixed. And that's like, that is harsh, man. But, and then in order to do that properly, someone has to have taught you, it's look, you aren't your problems. Well, you are. You're most fundamentally that which, if it confronts its problems, can solve them. And that's the hero myth in a, in, a, in a nutshell, by the way. The hero is the person who confronts horrible, chaotic potential and tames it and makes something of it, right? That's the, that's the fundamental human story. But the problem is, is that you have to face what you don't want to face in order to fix it. Yeah. And, and so you look at all the things about yourself that need to be burned off, that need to be dispensed with. And that man, especially at the beginning, especially if you're screwed up, that may be like 95% of you just has to go up in flames. And it's painful. Even some of that stuff that you have to burn off doesn't want to die. And it'll scream in agony while you're burning it off. It's not pleasant. But if you know that you're the thing that can transcend your problems, most fundamentally, if you know you're the thing that, if it faces the problems, can transcend them, then you have the faith that would enable you to take stock of who you are.